everyone, I'm Mike O'Neill and welcome to Flyboys. So it's been a while since I've done a blog up post and it's been even longer since I've done a video blog up post. In part that's because of a lack of activity and things to report on. COVID, as everyone knows, has had uh, many and most aviation events shut down. Those are things that I would normally attend and report on. So there's been nothing really to report on. Uh, flying activities are curtailed here where I am since it's the middle of winter. It's February 2nd, 2021 as I record this and uh, there's not much flying going on to report on. And third, uh, last March I retired full-time from my job and threw myself into the Flyboys store, which by the way I'll put a link to at the end of this video for those that might be interested in checking out the Flyboy store you'll have a URL where you can go to do that but anyway I threw myself full-time into the Flyboy store and uh, it's taken off like gangbusters and essentially become another full-time job for me taking care of the store so with all that going on along with some family and personal events that have taken up quite a bit of time it hasn't left me much time to do much aviation stuff that would be worthy of reporting on here in the blog. So to fill the void, I thought what I might do with this video post is take a little tour through the workbenches that are set up in my workshop here and show you what I've got in progress. I committed myself this summer to start addressing some of the backlog of planes and projects that I have to work on as far as either uh, repairing planes, restoring planes, or building new model planes. And I committed myself to do a plane of the month club type of a, a thing where I would either repair, restore, or build one plane a month. And over the course of the summer and into the fall, I pretty well kept up with that one a month goal of mine. But since uh, middle of October, uh, events have conspired and kept me out of the workshop from any modeling activities. So the projects have just sat here and in some cases been built up a little bit more. So I figured what I'd do is, is walk you through some of the benches that I've got set up here in my workshop and show you some of the projects that are sitting here just waiting for me. And so without further ado, I will take you over to the first workbench and we'll get a start there with my projects. Okay, I'm going to start over here on the free flight bench where I have two free flight planes that are undergoing repair currently. Both of these planes are models from Easy Built Models and I built them probably five, six, seven years ago. And they've both been sitting around for the last few years waiting on me to do some repairs to them. The first one is this Junior Commercial, which had its rubber motor blow out on me. For some reason, I was winding the motor without the blast tube in the plane, and of course the plane took some hits when the uh, rubber motor decided to blow up. It took uh, damage to the front here, as you can see, including a structural member right there that got blown out, and of course to the rear of the fuselage, it also took a hit. But other than that one member up in the front, all the damage was just to the tissue fabric covering, and it's an easy repair. I've got the tissue, the bad tissue cut out, and I'm getting ready to lay in some new tissue and that one structural member up front, and then this plane will be all ready to go once again. The second one, which is also by Easy Built, is their Karkoff R10, and this one uh, had some issues with the front cowling area where the motors held in. This obviously is broken and that was on a hard landing that that happened. So I've got a new piece I'm building and this is uh, some thin plywood. It'll be much stronger than the balsa wood that's in here. So I have to replace that front uh, engine cowling area if you will and then um, this one will be back up and running. So not really big major repairs on either of these, it's just I've never gotten around to them, so hopefully 
here over the next couple of weeks, these will both be back up and running. And so those are the two projects I have on the free flight bench. Next to the free flight bench, I have my big old woodworking bench. And uh, I have to apologize here for the lighting. I've got real lousy lighting in my basement, and this is about as good as it gets on this particular workbench, but hopefully everything will be visible enough. Here I've got two planes that are under construction. The first one has been the subject of a couple video posts in the past, and that's the SIG Sinbad 40 that I've been building for RC. And this has been sitting here static for literally three years now. And if you want to know what happened to it, I will exp ask you to go to my YouTube channel and you can see the two previous videos and another follow-up video as to what the status of this was. This is one that hopefully will be not too long in getting finished. It basically just needs to be covered and then it can get up and get flying. Next to it, in the back here, I've got a Berkeley P40 Warhawk. At least the fuselage of it is here. And this is one that I am building for control line. This is going to be a Cox 049 powered P40 Warhawk. This is, uh, the Berkeley kit is an old 1950s control line kit for either control line or free flight, and I've decided to build a control line. You'll see some of the other pieces of this build uh, in, in just a minute here as I go further through the shop. So this is two projects that are currently in progress. Okay, now I'm over at my primary building bench. This is uh, where I can actually sit down and work on smaller models and do a lot of fine detail work. And currently what's up here is a SIG Acrobat, which is a 34 inch control line stunt and sport model and I'm going to be using that to help me get through some of my uh, stunt training that I seem to be hung up on. I'm considering this to be a somewhat expendable plane, easy built, and uh, hopefully I can get through some of my stunt uh, issues that I've been having with this plane. It's not going to be um, covered as you see on the box top, but rather it's going to be in the blue and yellow monocoat that you can see here. It's also going to be powered by this OS Max 15 with a muffler. That's uh, an old engine that's been totally reconditioned and it runs really well. So it's going to be powering this thing. And then over here is the wing that's currently in progress. And I'm, having, I'm building it on a magnetic building board with uh, magnets used to help as hold the jigs in place and everything and I find that that's working very well for me. So I haven't gotten too far on this. The wing is started but not very far along so hopefully we'll get some good progress on this shortly. So, okay over here at the other end of my sit down workbench I've got one of my Tony Ray laser cut kits in progress. This is the Tony Ray Hummingbird and you can see what this thing will look like when it's all done. You can see it there. And actually, I've got two copies of this going. The one that I'm knocking around here, uh, that fuselage, I did not do too well on it. These parts are very tiny and very delicate. And with my bad eyes and shaky hands, I kind of made a mess of that fuselage. So I decided to pull out a second kit and start over again. And the one to the right of it is coming out considerably better than the first one. So this is going to be a small RC plane. I may not actually fly it. It may be just a static display that I'll take around to shows with me to show off to customers of the Flyboys store what one of the Tony Ray kits looks like. And then right next to it is a box for the Mini Moa. That's Tony's latest kit that he's come out with and it builds a 57 inch RC slope glider and it's a really really beautiful plane when built so that's queued up on the bench and that'll come together once the hummingbird is all done Start. another thing that I really enjoy building is model rockets 
As you can see, there's an old one that's completed on the right-hand side here. And I picked up a new one here recently that Estes just came out with, and it's a model of a Saturn 1B, which I think is just a really neat-looking uh, rocket to make a, a model of. This will probably be just be a display model, but that's uh, queued up on the workbench also. And then below it, hopefully you'll be able to see this, I have this storage cabinet, which has a variety of drawers in it. And each of these drawers contains either a full model in progress or parts of one that's in progress. So for instance, in this first drawer here, this is a Gillows Supermarine Spitfire that's in progress. In this cabinet drawer, is another Gillows plane. This is a Grumman F6F Hellcat that's in progress. And in this drawer down here, we have some more of the Sinbad 40, uh, the tail feathers and the engine pod and so forth. We keep those stored out of the way so they don't get damaged while I work on the rest of the plane. Then down here, we have a, a drawer which has some rocket stuff in it. This is uh, an old plane or mop rocket that I built that needs to be uh, have some new fins put on it so that's down in there and then down here here's the other parts for that Berkeley Warhawk P40 Warhawk that I showed you a moment ago there's the 049 engine that's going to go on it as well as the uh, wings that are all completed and the plans for that so these make nice storage drawers and down in here is just some, some junky stuff. So this makes some nice storage drawers for these small projects to keep them protected while they're in progress. Finally, over here in the back corner of my workshop is my plane stand, where I have my completed planes stored. Up on the top, way up in the rafters there, there's a blue and white little 049 wizard, little wizard. And then under that, what you're seeing right now is my um, Ringmaster, which has flown forever and ever. And next up is my SIG Twister, which is a great flying plane. Then this was the subject of a Flyboys post earlier this uh, fall. This was a P-40 restoration, stunt restoration that I worked on late this summer and early fall. And then under it are two more planes that are still in progress. Uh, this one here is a Jetco Shark that I was gifted by one of my Flyboys store customers. He built this to this point a number of years ago and doesn't imagine that he would ever get to finish it. So he gifted it to me and it's a gorgeous plane. It's, it's very big by my standards and it's going to have a 60 in it. 60 engine and it'll be uh, an awesome control line plane. So that's on, on the building boards also to get finished. And finally, underneath it is a Berkeley Fock Wolf 190. This is another model that I started a number of years ago and hasn't progressed in that time. So this will uh, probably have a 15 engine in it. I think I got the engine inside that box there. And this one will be a candidate uh, to get finished sometime, hopefully in the next year also. And this is obviously a control line plane. And finally, these are not projects that are currently in progress, but I just figured I'd take a moment and show you my kit collection, which will prove that I will never, ever run out of planes to build and things to get bored with. This is my current plane collection. There's uh, collectively on these shelves over 75 kits uh, waiting to be built. And there's a pile of balsa wood down at the bottom there. They run from some uh, big Gillows to Berkeleys to Sigs to um, Sterlings to all kinds of uh, manufacturers. And then if I move over here for a little bit you can get a little different angle we got some rocket stuff up here too and uh, we've got plenty of free flight kits to build all the way back down to the balsa 
So I've got more than enough to keep me busy. My plan of the month club should last me for any one of a number of years. So there you have it. That's what's currently on the building benches in my workshop. As I count it, there's probably a dozen projects sitting waiting to be finished. And hopefully I can start devoting some more dedicated time to getting some of these done. And as I work on each one of these, I have been recording them so that they'll be the subject of future Flyboys posts and you can see the actual build process or repair and restoration process on the various ones as I get them out of here. And that includes the rockets too. There's some people that I know would enjoy seeing the rocket builds. So that's it for now. Thank you for joining me uh, as I tour through my shop and hopefully we'll have some good progress to report in the future. So, Mike O'Neill for the Flyboys blog, signing off. Thanks a lot. Bye.